Hey guys, Crystal Otaku here. Before I do start this, I would like to warn everybody, there is a lot of uh, vulgar stuff, uh, not really vulgarity, just a lot of stuff that, like, blood, a lot of blood, like, walls covered in blood. Basically, I'm gonna give you guys an insight into this game, and it is basically like Silent Hill and Dark Souls put together, but it is, uh, very graphic, I would like to say that. So, for the people that don't like graphic things, Please get away from this. It is a very con controversial thing. It is a very, it's a really great game. I do like it. I do recommend people that can handle graphic stuff, like a lot of blood. <laughs> Please do download the game. This is just for PS4. I'm pretty sure it's just for PS4. I did look it up. And uh, this is for PS4 players, and it is a very good game. I want to go into a graphic, you know game so i thought it'd be great and uh this game is free for ps4 and i would like to say something i'm gonna go into a lot of depth into this well i'm not gonna go into too depth but i will go into a certain extent so i hope you guys do enjoy i hope you guys do like this and again if you don't want to see anything graphic please turn away so first we're gonna go with just a character creation in this game, it's pretty cool to have uh, characters you can have. You can create a lot of characters, different kinds of characters. If you want to unlock the uh, special kinds, as you can tell in the top right, it does say All Rounder, as you guys can see. And then you can see All Rounder, then a Collector. If you want to get a Collector and a Striker, what you're going to need to do first is uh, take defeat the first boss. In which it's not that hard and you unlock the characters so basically you gotta un you know unlock your characters by fighting you can have uh, you can upgrade these by going over here and talking to this guy so, what was the name? so basically when you get over here this is gonna be a lot of the rating you have your team you'll pick a country well not a country but you pick Canada or uh, South America or any state that you live in pretty much I don't know why Canada is just you know Canada but uh you know it's pretty good you have your team and you want to go to upgrade you go to waiting room and you go over to buy equipment and you can upgrade how many slots of characters you have and you'll need the souls as you guys can see in the top right and uh, there is a defense you need to create your defense most characters only go up to 25 there is 26 and you know onward but that's only that there is a raiding pretty much you can raid people it's a uh, pretty cool you can raid them for money and all that you can get revenge and all that uh, rescue is where you go in there and you rescue somebody uh, this is all your favorites if you have a favorite now I'm gonna bring you guys out of this and let you guys uh, see the other stuff basically this girl over here You'll get your mushroom stew from. Oh, how I've been waiting for you, fellow believer in the power she of the mushrooms. She is a bit crazy. Your mushroom stew is fifty thousand dollars. You can buy decal right here. Basically, this is gonna improve your stuff. Most people just buy that, but if you buy mushroom stew, you get a uh, you Come know again. one that's not gonna be in there. Something unique. Did this guy over here? You're gonna need blueprint oh, to uh, make you. stuff. I do have a lot of brew. Uh, the blueprints so it's pretty cool to be able to make these things and uh, time that's it now we're gonna go into a, some gameplay here and I want you guys to know this is very graphic again uh, we're getting to the graphic part so uh I don't want anybody to be offended you know and I hope you guys do enjoy Cause this is a gr very great game I've been playing it as you guys can see I have level 25s everywhere. I do have a level 26, and I'm proud to have that level 26. And all my other characters. The only reason they're in defense is because I need them in defense to protect my stuff. Now, this is where you're going to start off. Basically, when you start off in the game, I wish I could have done the start off for you guys. But uh, basically, you're going to die, and uh, you're going to have to get a, a new character. And all of that just to start the game it is pretty cool now we're gonna get some pretty cool gameplay here uh rubber crossbow these are pretty good for uh, 
And again, let's get into our underworld right here. What you're going to need to do is you go in here. This is all your mail and all that. Uh, there is a picture book, my collection, tutorial, uh, quest list, data, fighter data. This is for all your characters. There is mastery level for stuff. I'm mastery level. The highest in is my fist. That's level 14. The more you do it, the uh, more your powers increase in that specific thing. Like, you know, guns and all that. You know, rubber crossbow. The more you use it, the more damage you do. So pretty much, you know, you go over here, you get your attack power increased and everything. This is a DH services. Just This is just for, uh, you know, more of a, a player that, you know, uses this kind of stuff with currency. You have your death bag where you keep all your items in. This is going to restore your health, the frog is. And if we do find a frog, I'll tell you how you guys, how to get that. And uh, you, you, once you guys get into the game, you guys will learn how it basically teaches you. You just want to crouch down and grab it. And you don't want to eat it, but you stick it in your bag. It's pretty cool. Uh, I hope we can get some fighting in here. I am level 1 and I'll go over that once we fight these guys and get back. So basically the uh, point here is to not do it. These guys are actually the lowest in the game, so they're not that hard to kill. And this is my collector, by the way. A collector is basically someone that uh, has an upgraded bag space so they can collect more and they get more stamina and everything. So these are the people when you first watch out, you don't watch out for. They do carry weapons and specific items. And they do level up and they do get harder. So, you know, all in the usual. I'm not going to go far into this. I'm going to let you guys uh, get into the game and see it. I will be doing gameplays there. But, you know, most people that are going to watch this are going to, you know, right off the bat, just go to get it. So, you know, you know not to spoil it for them. And uh, you guys are about to see my special here. <laughs> Sorry you guys had to hear that. I forgot I had my uh, PS4 turned to that. Uh, I'm going to stick it in my bag. I have forgot I have it where it plays through the speaker of my controller. So we're just going to turn this corner. Let you guys see that that's the elevator to climb it. And basically the whole story of the game is to climb elevators and get to higher floors and all that. I mean it is a free game and it is a very good graphic for a free game. I mean for a free game for a let it die, it is pretty good. So I think it's uh, good to have for a free game. And uh, I'm going to show you guys right here what happens with the heart in the middle of your chest. If you get it to purple and it beats so fast, you'll have to slow down. So you want to keep your heart rate and jumping and all that to an extent so you don't hit the uh, your heart doesn't get purple and you end up having to uh, quit. And uh, this is where you get uh, vulnerable at is when you have to sit there and they hit you. So it's a... Uh, see, even rolling, just rolling that much can stop your heartbeat. So it's something you want to take care of. And uh, we're going to get back down here and we're going to show you guys what happens. You can get clothes and all that, so uh, it's a great to uh, find clothes and weapons that you can use against your enemies. And also to say something, people can attack you, so be careful because you could be level 1 and you can defeat a level 25 easily. So no matter how good your guy is, it's about the gear you have and uh, all that. So basically right here it's going to show you what you did. So it's going to show everything right here of what I just did, what I grabbed, and pretty much everything. Acquired coins and everything. So I'm going to show you guys in another area that you guys will be able to do. I forgot to cover two things. And I, I was going to do it at the last minute so you guys could see it. 
So when you get back, it's gonna collect all your coins. So make sure you don't die when you're out there or you won't get your coins and all that. So basically, I'm gonna head over here. This is where you get your HP and you're gonna see here in a second of what you do. So over here, basically is a bathroom. Uh, you can keep people hostage and everything. And uh, what you do is you'll keep them in this. You'll need to upgrade to get a second one. The uh, first one you don't need to. And basically you'll keep people hostage in here. And uh, you'll be able to, you know, you basically if people don't get them back in 48 hours, you get to keep that person. So uh, it's pretty hard to do. You're going to need some good gear. So heading over to this, you, you want to press X and it's going to go up and bring out the screen. This is Uncle Death right here. This guy right here is gonna give you a, uh, he's gonna give you tips in the game. Over here is where you could just replay certain parts of what you get to. Like Jindai, the boss. This is a mid boss. Mid bosses are basically going to the boss. And uh, this person right here is a teenager. And I, she just gives you quests. I haven't seen this yet, so. Oh, this is a radio. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Didn't know that. So, this guy will change his glasses from time to time. He's Uncle Death. <laughs> you were sleeping with your mouth open, just so you know. Come on, let's play. And basically, he'll be the person to bring you in the game and everything. I hope you guys do get this game. It's pretty fun, very fun to actually play. And sorry I haven't done videos in a while. I've been uh, busy doing things, you know, get things done. So I am back, and I'm gonna be doing videos over Fallout mm, probably tomorrow for you guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy. I hope you guys did like the video, and I hope you guys uh, try this game out for all the PS4 players. Sorry, for people that play PC, but I want you guys to uh, at least know. A good game and maybe it'll come to xbox one and uh, all that but i hope you guys do enjoy and i'll see you guys later peace